Hello everyone! I hope you're all excited for this video. I was going to do this last week, uh, last week? I was going to put this up for next week, but I couldn't wait, so I thought I'd... We're going to recreate this little boy um, that I showed you in a couple of videos ago. So I'm going to be recreating him on a tip in one of my flexi fingers from my flexi hand. I've got some Neo Nail colours, soft pastel blue, fairy godmother, cotton candy, I seem to be using this one quite a lot lately. Um, Mega White, this is going to be the unicorn's horn. And then the unicorn's head itself is going to be made of warm beige. And then from the Candyland collection from Now Sugar, I'm going to be using Blueberry Bonbon. It's so pretty, I love these. This is probably my favourite collection, I think, from Now Sugar. Um, the Valentine's collection was quite nice too though, it's, oh, it's so difficult to pick a favourite, but I just keep going back to Candyland, that's my little boy. <laughs> so we're going to use Nao's um, Soft Pastel Blue to create the base of the nail. I had, I don't know why, but I keep getting little tiny annoying hairs, I don't know where they're coming from, they just, I'm just putting a little bit of acrylic over that to cover up the patch where I try to remove the hair. A little bit more acrylic at the free edge. Then while the acrylic is wet, I'm just gonna put my wet brush into the blueberry bonbon glitter and tap it over that wet acrylic. If you want to, you can use a small bead of clear acrylic, dip it into the glitter and then spread it around. But because my acrylic was still wet, I just went straight in with the glitter, raw, uh, with the raw glitter into the raw glitter. Oh, it's too early. It's my little boy's birthday. He woke me up at six o'clock and it's half past six now. Um, but we've been getting up at about like eight o'clock. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so I'm now capping the whole nail in clear acrylic. Once it has set, I will go ahead and file and buff it. And then we will top coat with another hair look. They're bloody everywhere. So we're gonna, I'm using my CBD tempered top coat. Look how pretty this um, blueberry bonbon is over the blue. I love it. it it's like an Elsa from Frozen Nail. Ooh. So that gets cured for 60 seconds now. Now we, we get onto the really exciting part now. This is like, oh my God. So. First of all, we're going to create the unicorn's snout. I'm sure I've seen someone, I'm sure I've seen a nail like this before, but I don't know where. Um, but we're just like kind of recreating a horse's head. Um, I'm using my size 5 Nailmate uh, 3D brush from Glitter Planet to poke nostrils into the horse's nose. Then I'm going to place another bead above the nose and this is going to be, oh, I want to say like the bridge of the nose but it's not really, it's not, it's not a bridge, it's usually a bridge of the nose isn't it, not the head. Um, I don't know what part of the horse you'd call this. But it's gonna, from the top, it's gonna taper down towards the nose. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. It kind of fans out at the top. So where the acrylic beads meet, I'm just gonna put a little bit more acrylic over the join just to, just so that you can't see that I've joined, like I've used more than one bead of acrylic, even though you'll know I'm, you know I've have, but we want the beads to blend nicely. So this is another bead that we're gonna use the top, we're gonna to use at the top of a horse's head. This is gonna be the widest part of the horse. Even though it's not a horse, it's a unicorn. <laughs> so again, I'm just placing another bead where that acrylic bead joined the last one so that you can't see the jaw. Just, am I making sense? I think I am. But half the time I don't realise I am because in my head I sound silly. <laughs> Sometimes I think I talk gobbledygook. geek. I'm like, what are, you, what are you even on about? So for the eye, this is like the brow, the eye, the brow 
is this the, is that the right, it's just sharp, okay, it's the brow, yeah. Um, I'm going to put a bead on and then I'm going to turn it into like a croissant shape and I'm blending out where that bead meets the other, meets the other acrylic just so that it doesn't look so slapped on, not that it's slapped on. And then I'm going to do exactly the same to the other side. You just need to make sure that there is enough room in there to creep, to put like a little bead to, to, for the eye. It doesn't matter if it sticks out slightly. So you can see it's kind of like a half moony croissant shape. And you just want to sort of blend, blend it in without, you know, completely blending it in. You just kind of want to smooth it out a bit. So now we're gonna pop on the ears. These are quite easy, the ears. You just wanna bring them to a point. I curved mine round a little bit. I don't know, you do, you know, your unicorn could have funky ears. And then, again, I'm putting a little bit of acrylic where that bead met the other, meets the, the unicorn's head. And then we're going to do the same the other side. It looks like a, a ram here, doesn't it? That could be like goat's horns. <laughs> so I'm going to now just grab some little beads. I'm draining out the liquid out the back of the brush because I don't want these to run. So this is just gonna sit inside the eye socket. Okay, so we are, we're getting there. We just need a horn. So I'm using, taking some white acrylic. <clears throat> I didn't have a backing form, so I'm just using my silicon paint mat. And I'm just rolling out a like a sausage really <laughs> a white sausage um, of acrylic and once it starts to dry or set not dry set you can pick it up with your fingers and just start to twist it to create that horn um, now because I have flattened the end, I'm going to just snip off any excess horn that I don't want. Yes, darling. So just twist it as much as you want. And then I'm going to take my scissors and just snip off what I don't want. Because I want it to look tapered as well. So I'm going to pop that onto the head with a bead of clear acrylic. Now the bead of clear acrylic looks quite big, but I am gonna blend it out. And then I will pop, I will pop a little bit more clear acrylic, um, just around where the horn meets the head, just so that I know that it's not gonna go anywhere. Well, not yet anyway. I expect if it was on a real person, it would probably get knocked and come off straight away. <laughs> oh dear. So now we're gonna create the hair, the mane. Um, so I'm just taking beads of the cotton candy and the fairy godmother, and I'm just sort of creating like strands of hair. There's no right or wrong way how to put this on. I wanted mine to be a little bit wavy um, and I kind of alternated between the colours. I sped this bit up quite a lot because it took me quite a while to do. So I even curled 
the ends a bit. <laughs> This is like a curly haired unicorn. I've got curly hair, so my unicorn said, I want curly hair too. <laughs> Honest. There we go. So I'm using my Nelkami Artisan gel paints in black and white just to go over the eyes. I'm also using my 8mm Nelkami detailing brush. This came with the set of artisan gel paints that I bought. Um, I'm just going to fill the eye in in white. You just want to go around that the eye bead, you obviously don't want to go anywhere else. So we're going to do both sides and then we're going to cure it in the lamp for, I think I do it for the full 60 seconds. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the black and we're going to create the pupil. So basically just a little black circle. And then again I kill that for a full 60 seconds. And then I'm going to take the white again and I'm just going to put a little tiny dot inside the black pupil. This is just going to look like there's light hitting the the unicorn's eye, just a little bit more detail. Um, then I again I cure it for a full 60 seconds and I'm going to be using, look how cool he looks already. Um, you don't have to go over the whole head, this is my velvet matte top coat from Nelkami. You can just, if you take a detailing brush, you can just go over the eyes. Um, but I wanted to go over the whole head. So I used the brush that came in the bottle initially. Um, and then I'm going to take the 8mm detailing brush and I'm just going to get some of that um, top coat out of the nostrils and the eye sockets and just make sure everywhere is covered. And it cures for 30 seconds and this is, this is our finished unicorn. This one doesn't look as angry as the first one. <laughs> this is a more friendly one. Oh, I love him so much. This could be the her, actually. So you, you need to think of a name for this one, guys. <laughs> so I hope you did like this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I'll be doing an amazing giveaway at 2,000 subscribers, so stay tuned. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.